All right, so I'm going to start here. Um, this is the bottom of the astrology deck. Um, so this is first house, the body. So this is about your, obviously, your physical vitality, your life force, your chi. Um, it's also about your um, your personal independence, you know, how you are making your way in the world. What sort of course are you setting for yourself? Um, it's also your personal hobbies and interests um, and, uh, you know, self-oriented interests. So whether this is to do with your physical body or whether it's, you know, other things that you're busy with. Um, it's also what you're projecting outwards to others. So what they're going to pick up. So now whatever you are going through is going to be um, the opposite side is going to be the seventh house, which you've got here. So whatever you are going through is going to be reflected in your seventh house. So anybody that's really close to you at this time is going to obviously be affected. Um, so this may be um, obviously a physical thing. Possibly you are changing something or you are, um, you know, sort of uh, deciding on something for yourself, a course of action which you'd like to take. You may be moving forward with something or you just may be focusing more on what it is that you want to do at this time so your self-oriented interests or you could be changing your appearance all of these um, things can come in but if it is uh, physical related and you know just keep your energy levels high um, <clears throat> you have got uh, sensitivity here so you may be having some ascension uh, symptoms you may be um, you know um, changing we all are but um, you know you may just be going through a, a patch where you are just really sensitive at this time and this may be, a, you know, a sign for you to actually take care of yourself, your physical body, and um, perhaps change something or perhaps go through a different routine. You know, maybe it's related to exercise or something like that. But certainly what you are going through on the inside is going to be reflected um, into your relationship. So there's going to be a balance which is uh, required there. This is also about... Um, Athena, inner wisdom, you know what to do, trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So something is going to come up in the relationship. I can see here with the Mars card and uh, don't back down. And then you've got Nematona for sacred space to do with the seventh house. So there is some issue that's going to come up, possibly a discussion or some sort of action. Um, but you could be clashing either with your person or in some other way, shape or form. Um, but it's saying that you need to consult your inner wisdom. You need to um, perhaps take some time out and actually um, just get to grips with what this is. Uh, follow your heart, you know, but first of all, tap into your intuition, phase out all negativity and other people's opinions and influences and, and get hold of your, you know, get in touch with your inner wisdom. The full moon is showing up there. So, um, you know, for March, the full moon falls on the uh, 28th uh, of March and it's going to be in Libra. And that's all about balance and that's all about relationships as well. So something may come up for you then, but it's, a, it's about this. It's about getting in touch with your inner GPS, your inner knowing. Um, so take some time out around that time, spend time in nature, whatever it is that you have to do to get in touch with this. So now for you, um, uh, we've got Kuan Yin, compassion, and then we've got void, of course, moon missing so the void of course period is a is a sort of a shadow period it happens um, when the moon changes between signs goes through a quiet patch where there's just uh, doesn't appear to be much happening so um that is that indicates that all is not what what it seems all right so you may just be going through a patch it could last for maybe a week or maybe longer you could be going through a patch where it's time to rest um to retreat rest uh, recover so recover from certain things that may be happening around you. And um, perhaps maybe you're just tired and that's why the first house is coming up. Your life force or your energy levels may just be a bit low. So this is a rest and recovery period if that is applicable for you. But it can also be like a dreaming and a planning period. So this is for some... Uh, action that you want to initiate. Now you've got Mars coming up in the situation. So there is something coming up. Um, this is an action or something that you want to initiate, but don't do it while the void of course moon is in action. This is a time to just stay as you are, but spend time in relaxation and spend, spend time in rest, dreaming and planning. All right. It's not a time for be, to be taking big actions or initiating big things simply because you will get the wrong result or no result. All right. Uh, so just um, take a, you know, just carry on with your normal routine. Don't put in energy into, um, you know, into things that you um, that are important to you. Just stay neutral um, during this phase, 
And uh, as I said, things are, may not be what they seem. So um, this is just a, just a period to, to, to just, just let things flow and wait until this period has passed and then you can, um, you know, do whatever else needs to be done. So with the Kuan Yin Compassion, it's saying release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So this obviously applies to your person, but it can also apply to other things that may be externally influencing the relationship at this time. And um, it's just about waiting for the right time right time to initiate something. Um, but in the meantime, just be in the compassionate mode. Yet again, a full moon is coming up, so this seems to be important for you. Um, and just keep coming back to this energy, all right, this calm, this peace, this neutral state, neutral state, um, uh, where, you know, that is a good place to, then to be planning and dreaming uh, for one to, uh, for when you when the energy does shift and then you can move forward with whatever it is. But in the meantime, release judgments about yourself um, and uh, your person or whatever else may be going on and just focus on the love and light. All right, that's important. Then for your person, uh, we've got Irene Peace. Um, there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. And then we've got Libra Eye Balance. So this is the commitment card. This is the marriage or the engagement engagement card. So um, this may be coming in uh, for you or you're, certainly this is on your person's mind. Okay. And um this is all about the balancing of the relationship. Um, and, um, you know, uh, it, it's about, it's about finding that within themselves. And, uh, the Libra energy is, is all about relationships. It's also about beauty. It's about harmony. It's about refinement. Um, it, finding any, you know, anything that's beautiful for them. Um, they will be enjoying that. And that could very well be you, you know. So whatever is, whatever they, that they were, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So they are seeing beauty around them at this time. And, and possibly, um, they may be, they may be artistic or they may be involved in the arts in some way, shape or form. Um, and, um, you know, this may just be sort of influencing them in some way, but certainly they've got the relationship and the dynamics of the relationship on their mind. Um, and then Irene is just saying that, um, whether you are worrying about this or they are worrying about it, they, they, they just need to take a step back from that because everything is being handled. Um, this is a lovely calm energy. There's a lot of water, so there's emotion. Um, but the dolphins are there, which is always about joy and happiness and playfulness, right? So be at peace. The person, your person needs to be at peace and perhaps you need to be at peace with them. Um, no need to worry. Everything is being handled and is working out beautifully. So just release. They need to release worries and so do you. Um, because whatever is going on, um, you know, the, the relationship is on their mind, but there's, uh, this is about balance. All right. So this is mutual support um, and your needs and their needs uh, need to be heard and met. OK, so each of you um, has to be in mutual support of one another. All right. That, that is what the balance of this relationship is all about. Um, but certainly um, this is, as I said, the commitment card. It is, this is a committed relationship. This is not a love affair when you've got this, when you've got a Libra coming in. Okay. So this is like, um, this is commitment and, um, you know, and engagement or, or marriage or, or whatever, whatever would be commitment for you. Okay. Then, um, Something else is coming now. There is a situation happening at the moment. We've got Mars Force. So this could be a number of things. This could be impatience um, on on in, in within the relationships. So, so this can be impatience with things not moving forward quickly enough. And certainly with Void of Course Moon, this is a time to plan. All right. This is not a time to be taking action. So you've got to you've got to find ways to deflect this um, strong energy to do. All right. Because this Mars is the god of war. Uh, Mars is is about willpower. And, and undertaking things uh, with your will. Um, so it's your energy, it's your drive, your ambition. It's the, it's the, it's going after what it is that you want. It can also be, um, um, uh, the rise of um, desire and sexual expression. So this could be coming in as well, um, or it, it, it could just be an, a general impatience with things not moving forward as as quickly as as you would like, or just that each of you are feeling this desire and this feeling this need to 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 move forward, but it's just not possible at you know just initially at this time. But it's a time for dreaming and planning initially until you get the go ahead. Um, but it could also be, as I said, um, dealing with different um, ego concerns. Um, it can also be that one or other of you is being a bit bossy um, or just uh, demanding. 
um, or trying to force something. So just think about that. See how it relates to your relationship. Um, but um, whatever it is, this is a time um, don't back down. So stand up for what you believe is right. So whether this is you or your person or um, it could be that you're uh, together facing a situation. So don't back down. This is about um, nurturing your um either within the relationship or one or either of you. Um, this is about nurturing what is important to you um, or within your relationship. This is about nurturing that, growing that, dedicating time and energy to that and not allowing um, other negative things or other aspects to come in to detract from that. All right. So um, if you are in a committed, already in a committed uh, relationship, then this is about dealing with whatever is coming at you, because this can be a challenge coming in. This can be a challenge um, or some kind of defense that is required. Um, but it's it's also about standing firm, but not, but not, uh, but still moving forward, but not forcing to such a degree that everybody gets annoyed or um, that there is, um, you know, that the resistance starts to set in. OK, this is about moving forward in in a constructive and measured way. All right. Sort of tempered steel. All right. But it's 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 one step at a time, but moving forward. All right. With pace, but but not rushing around erratically and um, getting things, um, you know, sort of uh, rushing around and, and 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 not actually getting anywhere. The be best way is measured constructive action. But as I said, it could also be dealing with a bit of impatience. But this is saying don't back down on things that are important to you as a couple or to each one of you, whichever it is. Uh, find resolution, all right, um, and um, come to some sort of agreement about what needs to be done. But each one of you, your, both of you, your needs have to be met. And this is why your person has got Libra Eye Balance in, their, in their, um, their cards. And also you've got the seventh house, which is the house of partnerships and Libra rules the seventh house all right so balancing of the partnership is very very important at this time so it's about coming to um, a place of agreement um, a place where each of you are supporting each other that you've got each other's backs and that um, you, you're mutually supportive that's what you need to do but in order to do that each one of you has to make your needs heard um, and understood um, and talked about you know clearly uh, but if this is an external challenge that you're facing within your actual relationship, then it's saying to you, don't, don't back down from what is important. Okay. Um, and have your best interests and your, and your relationship's best interests at heart.